Leaders of William Branham's cult following and its many splinter groups try to unduly influence their victims by claiming that during his lifetime, William Branham's false claims were never challenged. This, they claim, is the reason why Branham's cult should refuse to look at the unsurmountable evidence against William Branham's claims as a Christian leader. Branham was challenged during his lifetime, however, and by many, many people. Alfred Pohl, who worked closely with William Branham during Branham's Canada healing revivals, testified that most of the people Branham healed either remained sick or died shortly after Branham left. Ministers near the platform of Branham's meetings in Durban and Johannesburg, South Africa, also refuted Branham's claims, calling them fraudulent as early as 1956. In a letter sent to Wayman D. Miller, one minister had personal knowledge of the people Branham quote-unquote healed and denounced Branham as a fraud. One person, which the newspapers described as an astonishing healing, died before the paper was even printed and available in the newspaper racks. According to the mouth of two or three witnesses, Branham's cures were so largely exaggerated as to almost be fraudulent in their claim. You can learn this and more on william-branham.org.